what's going on everybody welcome back to my youtube channel we have this nice and beautiful question on the board that says find the values of x and y that satisfies x plus y equal to 4 and x cubed plus y cubed equal to 4. we can decide to call this equation 1 and call this equation 2. now we're going to be starting from equation 2. Notice that this is the sum of two cubes, which has an identity of x plus y times x squared minus xy plus y squared. This is equal to 4. Now notice that equation 1, x plus y is 4, so I'm going to be putting 4 here. So this will be 4 times x squared minus xy plus y squared this is equal to 4. now our next step will be for us to divide both sides by 4 so i'll divide the left hand side by 4 i'll divide the right hand side by 4. now 4 can cancel out 4 leaving behind x squared minus xy plus y squared to be equal to 4 divided by 4 is 1 so i'm going to be putting 1 here now, I can rewrite this by writing x squared plus y squared first. So, x squared plus y squared. And then, write minus xy. So, minus xy. This is equal to 1. Now, our next step will be for us to use an identity of when I have x plus y all raised to the power of 2. This can be written as x squared plus y squared plus 2xy. So this is identity for x plus y all raised to the power of 2. But I'm only interested in x squared plus y squared, just as I have here. Now, in order to make this the subject, I'll have to move 2xy to the left. So I have x plus y all raised to the power of 2. And as 2xy crosses to the left, it becomes minus 2xy. This is equal to x squared plus y squared. So we're saying that x squared plus y squared is the all of this item here. And we're going to be putting this in place of x squared plus y squared in our original equation. So let's do that. So that means this will be replaced with x plus y all raised to the power of 2 minus 2xy so that is for this so we have minus xy so this is minus xy equal to 1 equal to 1 now remember that from equation 1 x plus y is 4 so i'll be putting 4 here so this will be 4 raised to the power of 2 now, minus 2xy minus 2xy gives minus 3xy, and this is equal to 1. 4 squared is 16, minus 3xy, this is equal to 1. Very good. Now, let us move 16 to the right-hand side. So, we have minus 3xy remaining on the left to be equal to, we've already got 1 on the right, and as 16 crosses, it becomes minus 16. So this simplifies into minus 3xy to be equal to 1 minus 16 is minus 15. Now let's divide both sides by minus 3. So I'll divide the left by minus 3. Divide the right by minus 3. So minus 3 can cancel out, leaving behind xy to be equal to minus 15 divided by minus 3 is 5. So we have a product of x and y to be 5. But remember from equation 1, we have the sum of x and y to be 4. So remember the quadratic equation identity that says when I have x squared minus sum of roots, which is s x, then plus product of roots, which is p equal to zero so we're going to be using this to find the value 
of x. Now remember, x means the sum of roots. Y, p means the product of roots. Now let's substitute them here. So this is x squared minus sum of roots. Sum of roots is x plus y, and that is 4. So I'm going to be putting 4 there x plus p is product of root and that is 5 so i'm going to be putting 5 here equal to 0. so now let's use the quadratic formula to solve this our a here is 1 our b is negative 4 and our c is 5. so we're looking for x so x will be minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So let's substitute. So we have x to be equal to minus b. So minus b, b is minus 4 plus or minus the square root of b squared. So that would be minus 4 squared minus 4 times a times c. 4 times a times c, c is 5, all over 2a, so that's 2 times 1. Now simplifying further, we're going to have x to be equal to negative times negative is positive, so I have 4 plus or minus the square root of negative 4 squared is 16, and then minus 4 times 1 times 5 is 20 so minus 20 all over 2 times 1 that is 2 so x will be 4 plus or minus the square root of 16 minus 20 is negative 4 all over 2 so this makes x to be equal to 4 plus or minus the square root of negative 4 is 2i is a complex value because of this negative so all over 2 so we can separate this so we have x to be 4 over 2 plus or minus 2i over 2 now making x to be 4 divided by 2 is 2 plus or minus now 2 divided by 2 is gone so we have i so the two values of x are we have 2 plus i and we have the second one to be 2 minus i. Now, in order to get the value of y, we have to make y the subject here. So, by moving x to the right-hand side. So, y is equal to 4 minus x. Now, let's substitute the values of x. For example, for the first one, we have 4 minus x. x is 2 plus i now let's distribute this minus inside the bracket so we have y to be equal to 4 minus 2 minus times plus is minus i so this becomes 4 minus 2 that is 2 minus i so that's our first value for y when x is 2 plus i now, we're going to be doing the same thing for this second one. So, this will be y equal to 4 minus x. x this time is 2 minus i. Now, distribute this minus inside the brackets. So, we have y to be 4 minus minus 2 minus times minus is plus i. Now, watch. We have that 4 minus 2 is 2. So, I'm going to be putting 2 here. So that is the value of y when x is 2 minus i. So let's rearrange that. So we have x and y values. When x is 2 plus i, y is 2 minus i. And when x is 2 minus i, y is 2 plus i. And that's what we have. Well, feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And like I always say, until next time, take care.